Uh, okay. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we just finished doing the Showdown Nacho review. Now, the next one is going to be the Showdown Zinchenko card, right? So, guys, with Zinchenko, we're taking a look at a card who is five foot nine, high medium work rates, left footed, three star, three star capabilities. Uh, so, by default, this card has some shooting capabilities, right? He has some shooting capabilities, but it's a card that's three star, three star. So, I'd probably want to use him mainly as an actual defender, right? So, playing the left back position, maybe. Nah, mostly left back position. You could use guys like this as a left center back and a three back formation. Absolutely. It's just the height part, you know, it's for some interceptions, some tackles, it is usually nicer to have uh, higher height. But sometimes they like boost the stats of these cards like crazy where that's not necessarily a huge issue. But from what I'm seeing, it's an obvious chemistry style for an anchor chemistry style. Player traits, he has long shot taker. He has flare trait. Shot power is at an 88, 66 finishing. Yeah, this is mostly a defender. Oh, pace split is a little strange. Uh, strength. Oh, is it? this card's formatted very strangely. So he's going to have 99 acceleration with 99 sprint speed on a shadow for now. You know what? I don't necessarily mind this, actually, for a defender. I'll tell you why, okay? So he doesn't have strength, but he has aggression, you know? What is this card like on an anchor chemistry style? Let's see. Zinchenko. Okay, so Zinchenko on an anchor chemistry style. 99 acceleration, 94 sprint speed. To be honest, you need to be as close as possible to 99 in both. But here's the thing, man. If you look at his defense and his physical, this is obviously a card that needs an upgrade, 100%. Nacho, not as much, you know, not as much for the Nacho card. But it would be nice if he did get it, especially for the meta of the game nowadays with the through balls and lap passes, a lot passes. I tell you guys all the time, right? But the way that this card is formatted on an anchor, you have to look at it from base card stats being improved, right? So if he gets the upgrade, sprint speed will be higher, right? So it'll probably be like a plus three, plus four, which is which is fine for the meta of the game, of course, right? But defense too, look, threes and fours. Imagine that for all of the defensive boosts here. Threes, fours, fives, depending on how they improve that. Three fours and fives maybe for the dribbling, so that it's in the 90s area, which would be fantastic. Finishing would probably be out of like a 70, 71, 72 maybe. Passing would be improved as well. And then for physical, his aggression would be essentially perfect with really good strength and really good jumping with a high stamina. So if you don't mind using like a, a shorter player in that area at a five foot nine height, playing in the left back position, Again, this is a card that you have to bank on the upgrade for uh, 100%. Definitely needs the upgrade. But there's a lot of potential to work with there for sure. But he needs it, you know? And right now, you could totally give him the Shadow Chemistry Zone. To be honest, the, the aggression, I feel like, could compensate really well because of his pace being really high. Zinchenko also has a lean body type. So lean body type with low strength could be a problem if that's the play style you're kind of going for. But if you want someone that feels kind of agile, that's like a gameplay compensator... It just depends on what you're looking at. You know, physical dudes, they usually tend to do really like, physical guys that can dribble. You know, those guys are usually really, really nice. But um, I don't think I have to really change much because the, the two positions I will use this card in is the left mid position to push forward, come back, and then the left center back position as well. So, uh, yeah, we'll try him on those positions. Hopefully he's a beast. Oh, see that aggression, man. You see that? That aggression with his running is it's really nice. See, that that right there is where it's like, yo, if you give him an anchor or something. It's funny because he has a lean body type. Which is like, it's really helpful if your gameplay is like not up to par, you know? Yeah, the running, guys, the running because of the high aggression, that's something that you notice a lot. So if he gets an upgrade in the future and you can boost this card with an anchor instead, that would be super, super ideal. Oh, well-weighted pass. He's actually free at the bottom again. First time lob. Nice. Not bad. Ooh, that was a nice green time shot, too. Uh, 
Okay. Dude. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. It's like it, it's like it helps with the animation or something. I couldn't tell you. Well, let's see him at the bottom right here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Not going to do anything. That's why I use them in the left mid area. It's kind of like acting like a fullback when they uh, push out of position, right? Pushing forward a lot here. Little Ronaldo chop. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. Listen, with an upgrade, I don't mind him as a left mid. Right now, it's okay. Because as long as you have the other side being the attacking player... But I'm just saying that in the future on an anchor, it could be really nice because that lean body type with high dribbling is very noticeable uh, to use in that position. So if you want to do like some quick dribbles to open up the space like that, you could totally do that. But he needs those improvements, you know? Nice. Good catch. He tried the animation again. I don't mind that. At least he goes for it. I'll trigger... Ball roll. Don't move. Guys, he takes good long shots because he just did the outside foot thing again. That one is not going to work because he's coming off of a run a certain way. You know what I'm saying? You have to dribble the ball um, in other ways for a little bit of consistency. Yeah, that works. He has no stamina right now. We'll make it work. No chance. We actually get destroyed. <laughs> oh, decent ball. I have to put way more on it, though. All right. Let's check out his track back up top. Track back up top. It's into a position. Let me see if he goes for a cross here. Far post, maybe. Oh, he's going to go in the middle. The stop wasn't too bad right there. Didn't mind that at all. Good pass off. Pass it off here. Ball roll. Just to get some consistency out of the strike, you know? Yeah, well positioned. Just have to hold L trigger in those situations. So that one doesn't really do much. Kind of just chills in that general area it's not like he goes into the middle or anything like that i i do believe that this card is mainly gonna be a left back i would say but again with the improvements you never know what they give because after foot fantasy bro foot fantasy they boosted those cards like crazy i did not expect that from them i expected like a headliners boost or something you know like like a one or a two no bro like those threes were crazy At least he's positioned well to intercept that. See? He actually hits them pretty cleanly, man. That's a pass. Yeah, I'm not actually going for clearance there. Challenge. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Zinchenko card. So, guys, in comparison, right, to the Nacho card in regards to whether the card needs the upgrade... This card 100% needs the upgrade, okay? He needs it. So if you end up doing the SBC, don't get me wrong, he's usable for now. He's nothing crazy special. You need the upgrade on him, okay? Because listen, this card, guys, with the upgrade, because right now you can give him a shadow chemistry style, you know, give him the perfect pace, give him the perfect defending, and he has some pretty nice aggression to work with, right? But the strength of the lean body type in certain situations, it's going to bother you, right? The aggression will compensate really well for you, but the strength part will bother you. So with the potential upgrade, which is the thing that we have to look at here, right? It's the anchor chemistry style parts. Because look, base card stats being improved for defense to be perfect in every area or very close to perfect in every area would be really nice. He would have basically perfect pace because they'd probably boost it by like a plus three plus four the dribbling would all be in the 90s right all of it would be in the 90s the passing would also probably be in the 90s as well with shooting probably being at a 70 
with good shot power, decent long shots, considering the fact that he also has the trait. Because the animation choice is there. You just got to try to hit your greens as much as possible. I hit him in the white for that one goal, and he ended up scoring it, right? To be fair, though, how often are you going to get your fullbacks to score long shots? It depends on your play style, right? Because there's that... Uh, Instruction that I never see anybody use, to be fair. The inverted one where like they go on the inside and stuff. Like maybe if you do that, he'll score some of the long shots for you. Um, but again, mainly it's going to be about defensive capabilities, right? So this one's going to be a hard one to judge because as of right now, it's like a it's like an okay card to use, right? Nothing crazy special, but it's the improvement that could make him really, really nice. At the end of the day, guys, I would say that for a fullback... It's really going to depend on what type of players you like the most in those areas because a lot of people don't like players that have the lean body type playing in a defensive position with low base strength stats, right? C considering the fact that they're a shorter player because some people like to have that physical presence uh, to be able to defend really nicely. You know, examples that I always talk about is players like the Delane card, right? Delane... Average body type, good dribbling, physical stats are there. Anchor, chemistry style, a beast of a card, right? Um, there's the new card too, which is the Mitchell card. This guy, right? Pace is a, the pace split is odd for him because then that means aggression has to be high for him. So anchor, chemistry style, high acceleration, low for sprint speed, but also a lean body type, high medium. For a player that's English from Crystal Palace... People will mostly use this card for links more than they actually like want to use him for the meta of the game. But he is taller, which does compensate really well. So um, if you like the play style of someone being more agile, that'll compensate well for you in the meta of the game if it's like not up to par. He's going to be good in that regard. But um, I could see why people dislike him. It's, people try to go for meta as much as possible. So it does make a lot of sense. But I am I am trying to tell you, okay, that if he gets the upgrade on an anchor, it's a pretty solid card. But um, with Nacho, you, it, he doesn't even need the upgrade right now. He's a pretty decent card, but with the upgrade, it'd be sick too. So to be fair, they did choose two decent showdown cards. Zinchenko has a lot of potential, though. You have to bank on him getting that upgrade. Like this one, 100%. Like right now, he's like, whatever, you know, but he needs the upgrade. So uh, it's really up to you guys if you want to do it for 100K because it really depends on the play style that you want to go with, okay? So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. Just remember, he's a three-star, three-star player, okay? So that might be a turnoff for people as well. Guys, thanks for watching the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.